This is an amazing opportunity to show you guys how to use a bit of hard light. So right now we're still hours away from the sun setting, right? But we can still get a fantastic image. In fact, we can actually use the sun as a hard directional light, just like we would say a flash and we'll get a dramatic image out of it. But what it requires is very careful positioning of our subject's bodies. So here's what I've done. I'm going to shoot from right here because I want to shoot on a 24 to get this entire scene. Does it really matter? No, I could take the same shot with my iPhone. It's still going to look incredible. It doesn't matter whatsoever. I'm shooting at 1.4 because it'd be nice to have a little bit of background separation, but we're not going to get a lot anyway. I'm also shooting at 1 8,000th of a second and low ISO so we can maximize not only our, well, we're going to capture and freeze motion, but we're going to make sure we maximize our dynamic range in the shot. Now from this, it becomes all about posing because if I leave my subjects right here, it's just not that flattering of an image. So what I'm going to do is help guide them. So Naomi, that light source that's coming right there, I want Jeff to take a tiny step back and I'm going to record this from my angle so you guys can see too what's happening. So Jeff is taking a tiny step back and Naomi, I'm going to have you do everything that we talked about with the curve, okay? So kick the hip, go ahead and bring the knee across. And now that light direction is coming from your right. So I want you to bring your chin to that side. There. Do you guys see that nice, beautiful highlight that lands right on her cheek right there? We have a perfect little like Rembrandt light right there from that hard light source. From there, I'm going to have her hold the left side of her dress and then hold Jeff's hand with the other hand. Jeff, you're going to take a tiny step out this way. There you go. And now you're going to look right at Naomi while Naomi can looks for that side. And that's the photograph. I can have Jeff come a little bit closer without blocking that light on her too. So Jeff, come a little bit closer. And as soon as that wave lands, we shoot the image and we get our shot. Make sure that they kind of relax the hands. I like shooting this image as soon as that water touches their feet like so. So this is all about the pose. It's all about nailing that pose and then waiting for the moment because we have all the light that we need already in this scene. One of the things that's also helping us is we have this wall here that's sort of filling light back into the scene as well. This is a big piece of like kind of this setup is we have a natural reflector that's putting in natural kind of skin tone back into the shot. You like how I'm feeding it back? I don't know what these hand motions are, but you get what I'm saying. All right, so let's actually shoot our image now. Naomi, go ahead and hold that. Jeff, take one small step this way. and look to Naomi and smile. And Naomi kind of looked at, I love it where you're kind of like, I liked it when you're doing it in motion. So go ahead and brush the, yes, just like that. Brush it, there you go. Brush it, girl. Keep kicking the hip, keep brushing. There you go, I love that, that's cute. Cute, relax the hand down. So hopefully this gives you an idea that just because you're not setting up flashes doesn't mean that you can't capture dramatic imagery. We just need to position our subjects to get that hard direct light right on them in a flattering way.